Hey everyone, let's begin on Let's begin, let's begin by moving our shoulders around. So bring your shoulders forward as much as possible and then up to your ears as high as they'll go and then back together and down. Once again, forward as much as possible, up to your ears, back together and down. Trying to make a, as big of a circle as you can. Forward, up to your ears, Back together and down. Awesome. Let's switch it up. Um, let's do a little wrist warm up. So my palms are flat on the on the ground right here in this tabletop position, and I'm only going to raise the wrists up while the fingers stay plugged in. So my fingers are glued to the mat as I raise the the palm and wrist up. Okay, and I'm going to do that both hands at a time, slowly, so slowly raise it and slowly bring it back down. And this is just a nice way of moving the wrists and fingers, stretching the fingers slightly and warming up the wrists so that it gets used to, you know, the idea of some weight going on it, since we're not always used to that or ready for it. Okay. Now from here, let's go into bird dog pose on our hands, on our fingers. So I'm propped up on my fingers and then I'm going to raise, uh, well, it's easier to just raise the left leg back and then raise the right arm forward. And let's switch it up. Bring the left leg to the left and the right arm to the right. And then bring it back to center and bring your left knee to your left elbow and straighten it back out. One more time, left knee to left elbow, straighten it out. Look at your hand and raise your back leg up, raise your right arm up and let's set it down. Switch sides, right hand down. Right leg back behind you, straight back, heel reaching back, and left, left hand forward. Bring your right foot all the way to the right. I'm out of space here, but... <laughs> and your left hand to the left. So right leg as far to the right as possible, and your left leg, uh, your left hand to the left. Okay, and then bring it back to center and bring your left, uh, bring your right knee to your elbow and extend it back out. Do that a couple more times. And then raise that hand and leg up, looking up at your hand as much as you can and set it down. Great job. Let's go into a quick child's pose position. Feet together, knees apart. Sit back toward your heels and reach forward. Prop your fingers on your, prop your hands on your fingers like so, as this will help make it a slightly different kind of stretch. Looking at your fingers, keep looking at your fingers, and uh, keep bringing the butt on your heels. And then let your forehead go down to the mat. When your fingers are propped up like this, it might help stretch in a slightly different way. In either case, child's pose is pretty nice to do and it's always available, remember that. Take a deep breath, remember don't hold your breath. Okay, now let's get on hands and knees again. Come back to tabletop position. Uh, cross your feet behind you and sit back. Put your feet in front of you like so. We'll do a little bit of boat pose. So boat pose works the core and this is pretty much the preliminary setup for it. Bring the hands forward like this, 
and go on your the tips of your toes so the heels are up and then raise one leg up and then raise the other leg up as you are just balancing with your chest proud not caving in and if you're comfortable here you can try straightening the legs to intensify it if you like. It's up to you. Okay, and then let's bend the knees and bring everything back down. And while we're in this position, we could actually play with the reverse tabletop position. Uh, let's put the fingers behind us and raise the hips up. All right, so in this position, I wanna emphasize something. So bring the butt back down. Now, bring the shoulders back together. So rather than being back uh, forward, shoulders back together, chest proud, maybe even slightly looking up, you know? And then with this chest proud, raise the hips up once more. And then you're going to go into reverse plank by straightening one leg out at a time. And then we're going to work on our back bend here slightly. This is, a not, this is one of my favorite tricks. So put your feet, your big toes together, and then try to reach your big toes down to the ground and, and that will help raise your hips up even more. And while you keep this and bring the shoulders back together even more to retract the shoulder blades and then while you keep this position you slowly bring your butt down as you keep your chest up so slowly bring your butt down as you keep your chest up and now you'll find yourself probably sitting in this position with your chest and your upper back still in a slight arch and back bend. Normally, it's, this is a rounded position and it's very difficult to do this, but like this, you can feel what it's like to sit in a completely different way when you enter it in a different way. Okay, and now from here, release your hands. You can shake out your wrists if they they were under a lot of pressure. Um, but yeah, notice here, if I um, normally sit into this position, I would probably be more like this. But whenever we got into this position, and like this, and then slowly brought the butt down, we stay in the slight back bend, and we can just play with that. So I think I'm going to end it here for today. Let's just do a quick little bind. Put the feet together, knees apart. And, and uh, lay on your back and grab opposite elbows. So your feet are in the butterfly position and your arms are overhead grabbing the opposite elbows as you're just kind of relaxing in this position. Take a deep breath and let it all go. Oh. 